never go back with her. Ever. Ever. Guys, you got to understand, so many of you guys uh, just really have to develop a level of self-respect and uh, just sack, honestly. I mean, really, guys, if she left you and dipped out, here's the reason you don't ever take her back, guys. And this is going to be hard for some of you to understand. I know it, but we're going to just get really logical for a few minutes. If she left you, she left you for another guy to explore the opportunity of another guy. You see, I know, I know, not your girl, right? Not your girl, she's awesome, she would never do that to you. Yeah, that's right. You see, here's the thing, guys. When a girl leaves, they don't just leave and go with nobody at all because girls like validation and attention and having someone there that makes them feel special at all times. Or even if they're not just there to when they need them, they need to know someone's available. And when a girl leaves, they never leave just on a whim with nobody already in line. They monkey branch, typically to another guy. And <clears throat> here's the thing. When they not when they don't monkey branch, and what I mean by monkey branch is they're basically cheating on you with this other guy. Even if it's not sexual or hasn't gotten to a sexual point yet, an emotional relationship with this other man is cheating, right? I mean, my guys out there, honestly, tell me truthfully, um, does it hurt more that she, you know, emotionally connected with someone or does it hurt more for you than just sex? That she had sex with this other guy or whatever? Yeah, it's the emotional thing that gets you, isn't it? Because we're emotional men. Even though we don't like to show it, we're not, to, we're not technically allowed to and a girl will not respect you if you do, that's what we do. We attach emotion. They, not exactly. You gotta understand that a woman knows who's next. She has a laundry list of guys um, that are romantically interested in her, her who have expressed a romantic interest or hit on her or, you know, uh, made some comments, whatever the case is. She knows who those guys are and she knows where each one of them ranks in terms of looks and his money and social status. Now, she may not know as much about his social status, but she knows if he looks good enough to uh, hang out with and he happens to have some financial, uh, you know, decent financial standing, could afford to take her to nice places, do nice things for her, that makes his attraction level go up even higher. And if she's unhappy with you and decides to bounce and goes to this other guy, well, here's the thing, guys. Would you want her back? <clears throat> no, you wouldn't because she essentially just left you for dead and was like, well, you know, you were great and I told you I loved you and everything and we spent all that time together, but I'm gonna go over here and check this thing out. That's her prerogative. She has every right to do that, but would you take her back afterwards? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, guys. Don't get cucked out by society telling you that, hey, it's okay to accept these women if they go out and they cheat and they come back and, well, if she cheated, it's really your fault because you weren't giving her something that she needed or whatever cliche, cliche stuff they want to say to really justify the uh, infidelity, the lack of loyalty, the lack of caring about how you would feel as the dude uh, on the receiving end. Yeah, she didn't care. And I mean, that's fine. Again, that's her prerogative. But why would you want that person anywhere near your life? They're undependable. If you ever needed anything from them, they wouldn't be there. Clearly, they don't care. So what, she's going to come back and say, well, you know what? I, I discovered in being away from you that I really just couldn't live without you. And I made the biggest mistake of my life. And really, come on, guys, <clears throat> you got to be smarter than that. Some of you got to be smarter than that. You know, we've seen it time and time again, just over and over. I have talked to probably 500 of you guys from YouTube, watching my other videos, sending me messages, uh, reading comments about what you're going through. Some of you sending me emails, you know, about, hey, I'm going through this, can we talk about it? I've talked to 500 of you guys at least. And I've heard these same stories over and over and over and well, oh, she painted me to be the abusive one. Of course she did. You have to remember what happened when she left. She needed to look like she was squeaky clean and left this relationship because you were no good anymore. 
It wasn't just that she was going to ride on the Chad. It wasn't just that she maybe didn't have feelings for you anymore or wasn't attracted to you sexually anymore. But she also needed to destroy your character a little bit so she looked like she was, you know, a victim in all this. They love to be the victim. Am I wrong? Did you experience a similar circumstance during your divorce slash breakup or whatever? If you did, leave a comment down below. I'm interested to hear from you guys. I always love reading these stories from you guys where you say, Hey, man, this exact thing happened to me. She slandered me to people. She acted like she never knew me, completely broke off contact. One day it was a kiss and an I love you, you're the best thing in my life. And the very next day, ghosted. And after years, five years, 10 years, kids, children, houses, rent, bills, responsibilities, all gone. Right? I mean, it is what it is, guys. But you have to be able to mentally accept it for what it is and know that this person cannot be in your life anymore. They chose that. And here's the thing. A lot of these girls think you are a sucker and a simp and know that you will take them back when they come running back with their sob story and their little tears going, their little crocodile tears. Mm. Wee. Guys, come on. Some of y'all gotta wisen up, man. I mean, look, we've all been there. We've probably all been there two or three or four times if you're like me and you're 40-something. Uh, you've seen it enough times to know what it is. <clears throat> Don't fall for it. Don't take her back. There's plenty of other guys out there she can go and hang out with, and if that bothers you, you gotta get over that whole thing there. Who cares who she's with or what they're doing or whatever? Who cares? Like, once she shows you that she doesn't respect you as a man or doesn't value you as a human being that she's lived with and probably lived off of for a while, once she shows you she doesn't respect you at all under those guidelines, who gives a shit what she does? Like, seriously, why do you care? I mean, I, it, more, you know, more power to her. You need to get into the mental state where you're just thinking, like, I'm going to go do what I'm going to do. I'm not even thinking about what this other person is doing, and I'm going to go let her do it. And if you get that email or that text or that I am on some social media or whatever that says, oh, I can't stop thinking about you. I've made the biggest mistake of my life. I never should have left you. I never should have did, done this. I was just going through some things and my emotions. And my... You don't have to be an emotional tampon for these girls. You don't. Whatever they're going through, with full respect to, to the severity of mental health and Whatever they're going through, that is not your responsibility as a man. It's not. And you've been told for far too long that you are responsible for maintaining the emotional status of someone else. And you're not. It's not fair of that to be on you. We all know that, you know, maybe cousin or whatever, or little child that's just kind of always unhappy when they don't get their way and they're spoiled and they pitch a fit and then they cry and they're just spoiled and everyone in the family is just like oh not this kid i don't want to deal with this kid and if that's your girl holding you to that emotional and it's up to you to make her happy or else she cries or whines or bitches or shit tests you or yells at you or treats you bad maybe the problem isn't with you guys i'm just throwing that out there i don't know i'm not an expert i can't make any real character judgments. I mean, I can't really, I'm not qualified to give a diagnosis. But maybe if you're responsible for someone else's emotions and they're unhappy, maybe that's really up to them. Like maybe at some level, we all have to have a level of personal responsibility for our own happiness to where we can't blame someone who's in our life and say, well, this person's the reason I'm, un I'm unhappy. Um, I know that's a lot of you guys will get this concept and um, you know unfortunately uh, many many women out there will hear this and, and it's like I'm speaking in hieroglyphics but it is what it is guys uh, don't take her back have some self-respect get on with your life get your money right do your thing go you know don't date anyone for six months to a year or spend six months to a year dating everyone I, I went on a bender during uh, after my divorce um, I went a little nuts for six months to a year and, and just uh, really sowed some wild oats but I don't recommend that it was pointless 
I gained nothing from it. It, it was fun, but <clears throat> that's not very, very empty. Uh, so, you know, uh, stack your money, work, make some extra money if you can. Uh, don't be wasting it on taking girls out and doing these nice things for them. And look, if she likes you, she'll come to where you are. You don't even have to take her out to dinner if you don't want to. You can. I'm not saying not to. I'm just saying if she's interested in you, she'll come around where you're at. She'll ask when you're going to be in town. She'll ask where you're going to be. She will find you and she will get to you if she likes you. It's that simple. But don't take the old one back. Come with John. Peace. I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these hoes cause my lad name ain't Kent. Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent. Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish. Better watch your soul cause you know they trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. I learned my right from wrong on the song. I let my heart 